Now we're going to take a look at a common way to escape the triangle choke. Uh, the triangle choke, once you get in it, it's pretty tough to escape it. Uh, in fact, a lot of times, depending on how tight their triangle is set in, any attempts you have are just delaying the inevitable. But this is an effective way. Ryan Hall is the one that's come up with this. Obviously, he's good at triangles. He hits them on everybody. Um, this is an effective way to counter the triangle choke, and it's probably the most efficient and easy method that I've found so far. So however you end up in it, my opponent ends up in a triangle choke. Now, if I just sit here, I can promise you I'm going to go to sleep. A lot of people like to grab their own thigh inside it and posture up, and that will work. You're also open to a Kimura and a Maplata and a couple other things. But everybody's going to want to try to bring your arm across here. That's fine if that's what he wants. Let's go ahead and block his hip so that he doesn't just follow us and slide with us and turn him up on his side. Putting this hand on his knee, we're then going to use our elbow to block his hip and bring this hand in front of his knee. Now I'm going to bring his knee to the floor and look up right here. Now, go ahead and triangle me. It's very, very difficult for your opponent to get any kind of triangle whatsoever. Now there's not a big grandiose escape here, but he's basically going to burn his legs out. Eventually, he'll give up on it. Uh, if he doesn't, you can go ahead and just keep driving through it until you eventually can break the triangle open. But, I mean, essentially, all I'm doing is he's got the triangle here. From here, this is go to sleep position. He wants my arm across, that's fine. Go ahead and push it, push my elbow to the floor, and use my elbow against his hip. Now, both hands on his knee, pull his knee toward the floor, and drive my shoulders forward and look up. Now, there's not a whole lot he can do. There's a rolling arm bar he can go for, but as long as I'm aware of it, I can stack my arms in plenty of time. I just kind of like to put my thumb right here and just start looking up. Eventually, he'll have to let go of it, and when he does, that's when I'm posturing up and I go into some of my guard passes. That's a common way to escape the triangle choke.